Hello, I'm Rain Leary from Clark Dental. This short video is to show you how to create a report in the MyRay Iris software. So we're in the Iris software, we have a patient open, we have an image on screen. So we want to create a report. So we click on report, new. Now we have an option, do we want portrait or landscape? Um, so I'm going to choose portrait here, but if I wanted to, I could choose landscape. So portrait, and OK. So I can, if I want to, create another page right here, so I will. So you see I've now got two pages here, and I'm going to say, yeah, I'm happy with that. OK, cancel that. So now I've got a two-page report here. I can add extra pages. That's quite easy. I'll show you how. So we click on the report toolbar, and that gives us some options down here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to put this image in this page one of the report. So I click on the image window here and it goes yellow. Now I click on the image that I want to put in there and it'll put it over there for me. Imagine you had a different image. I know this is the same one, but again, you could do the same on page two. And now I want to put some notes to this image. So I want to put some notes in. I can add a page from there, I can edit the template, I can edit the notes, I can, I'll can. i show you the, these things in a second. This is just showing you what all these things do. So if I wanted to remove that page, for example, I can, I say I want to remove page two. And there it's gone. So I've now just got a one page report, but I can always add another page if I want to. Okay, so on this page one, I want to edit a note. So I could add any text I like here. So I might put note, assist, um, assist and advise. Now, if I don't want that to be red, I can change to any color I like here. OK, and I click on OK. So now there's my note there. Now, if I wanted to, I could add another page from here. Again, it's asked me if I want portrait or landscape. So I'm going to choose another portrait page. So I've now got a second page. So again, I would just click there, take my image over. Now this here that says report notes database, you might find that you're typing the same things over and over again. So that's what this is for. So I might say on page two, I want to grab something that's already in my notes database. Now, if I wanted to add, please note findings and advise, I just click on that. It saves me typing and then I'll click apply, puts it in there and I click OK. If I want to, I can add anything I like to that reports page here. I could type anything I like and store it in the database and that will just save me having to type that every time. So you can just select the thing you want, click apply and it will put it in the notes here. OK. So I've now got a two page report here. Um, so, so if I was to add another page, by the way, I'm just going to add another page there. I've now got three pages. So you see, you might say, oh, where's my page one and page two gone? See this arrow here? So there's page one and two, and that's page three. OK, so just, just what I noticed that that's there. Um, OK, so we've created our, our uh, report now. So now we want to save it as a PDF so that we can send it to somebody. So we click on File, Save Report in PDF Format. So I'm just going to call this one Test 1. Um, you can save it in any file you like. You can save it to your desktop. In fact, let me save it to my desktop so I can show you. Um, desktop, click on Save. Ask you how you want to save it. Just say yes. Page 1 to 3, yes. Click on OK. So now that's creating a PDF, which now you can, of course, um, Uh, attached to an email. So here's my here's my report that I created. Um, that would be your patient's name. Mine happens to have a bit of a strange name, the name of the image, but it gives your patient's name and date of birth at the top there. There's your image. There's your notes. There's your page two image. There's your notes. Okay, so that's your report and it's saved ready for you to attach it. So I called it test Test one, there we are. So that's my PDF that I just saved. 
Um, if you don't have Adobe Acrobat Reader, that is a free download. So if you don't, if you try to open a PDF and it says you don't have anything installed to open this file, just go to adobe.com and download the free version of Reader. OK, I hope that helps. Um, so again, I'm Rain Leary from Clark Dental and I hope this was helpful.